Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, on this one, I'm going to do a product review, box opening and product review. It is an actual disc cloner, which can do the cloning offline. I'm going to do box opening of it and you'll see what it looks like. It also can do M2 SSDs that are SATA and hard drives that are SATA, and it can cross between them as well. It's made by a company called CoolPie. And I'll put the actual ad to it up in the corner here so you can take a look at it. And you can see you know, what it costs and where you can get it from. That happens to be the Amazon ad. It was sent to me by um, Shopify to do the review on. So thank you for them in providing this sample. Now what I'm definitely going to test is M2 to M2 and a pretty high-end one too. I've got the Western Digital Black Gen 4 two terabyte drives. I got two of them. One already is in my computer that I'm getting set up to make my new content creation computer. Now, that's not the one that's going to actually stay there. It's meant to actually go and get some four terabyte drives into it, as I may have shown in previous videos. But I got these as ways of upgrading some of my existing systems. For example, my streaming computer here, and also possibly my uh, editing computer, the current one downstairs. But we'll see. Or Worst comes to worse, which is not really bad, I'll put it into my VM server as another two terabyte M2 drive. So we'll see how that goes. So let me first open this up and we'll take a look at it and we'll see what comes in the box and then I'll set it up and see what I can test, okay? Okay, so here it is, plain paper bag type box. So that. Oh, we got instructions here. They look a little bit in the small side. Put that aside, and then looks like this is it right here. Let's take this out of here. Oh, it's very, pretty thin, smaller than I thought it was going to be. That's just a plastic Velcro. Open this guy up. Oh, there we go. So if we take a look at this, we'll see. It looks like you have M SATA's source and target M2 either NVMe or SATA, source and target. It has regular, like two and a half inch SSD connectors, which you can also use for hard drives too, if they're the right size. Have to be very careful though, when you put those on, they make sure we don't uh, stress out these connectors. It's got uh, back here, the USB connector that connects it up to the computer if you want. So it becomes almost like a, a two drive distribution has a power button looks like here and a power connector and then here's a button that says clone on it okay now let's take a look at what else is in the box okay there's a white box in here oh, it looks like they give you a couple of cables one looks like a USB C to USB-C. Let's see how long they are. Looks like about two feet. If I fold it in half, looks like it's about a foot. So that's two and a half, two feet altogether. Let's take a look at this one here. I suspect it's the same, but let's double check. And that's a whoop, USB 3.0, Type-A, and a USB-C. Okay. And what we got here? Oh, the power adapter is supposed to be 12 volts, 3 amps, according to what I read before. So that's what this particular one should be. Let me double check that. Yep, 12 volts at 3 amps are written right in there. Okay. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Let me get the drives together. I mean, I still have the brand new one here. It says that I have to make sure that it has at least a partition on it. So we're going to have to connect this up to the computer, probably through this port here, and see if we can then go into the disk manager and uh, set up a partition, a primary partition on it first. This is brand new. It hasn't even been opened. The other one has already a partition on it and has a lot of data on it, an operating system and a lot of data. So it should be pretty straightforward with that one. Okay, let me get this all set up and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, I've removed the M2 2 terabytes from the PC that I had it in. It's the one on the left here that's already inserted into the unit. 
I powered it on, the lights blinked, and two green lights came on. The one on the right is brand new, uninitiated. The one on the left has been in the PC, it's got an operating system installed as I said earlier, and it's pretty much full. I made sure I packed it pretty tightly. So now let's take a look at what the computer sees about this, okay? Okay, what you see on the screen right here, on the left is drive D, which is the M2 two terabyte drive that I have as the source in the CoolPy replicator. And on the right, I opened up disk management. And now I'm gonna go into specifically disk management. And as you can see, it sees a disk three that is not initiated. So I have to tell it to initiate that. Now it shows up here in the bottom, disk three. I right click on it. I say new simple volume, pretty much take all the defaults. It'll become drive E, I believe, we'll see in a minute. No, F, it'll become drive F, standard default, and then I finish it. And boom, it opened up now a drive F. So I can close this, and now you can see I have the two drives open. So this CoolPy can actually show both disks at the same time. So it acts sort of like a USB hub, actually. So now with this being the case, I can go ahead and uh, try to duplicate the drives. So let me do that next. Okay, what I had done is powered it off and disconnected it from the PC successfully by dismounting the USB drives first. So now let's see if this works. I have it off. Let me power it on with the little button in the back here. It is on. I see the light in the back. I'm supposed to use these four lights. Oh, it finally it had initiated before these lights came on. Okay, so now both of those are on. Let me hold the clone button down for a few seconds. And there it goes. That's a progress. Both of the lights are blinking and this is blinking, which is a progress bar. So I'll probably zoom ahead and then we'll connect it back to the computer and take a look at that. Okay, it's all done. It took about an hour and 20 minutes almost exactly. So since that is two terabytes, now, I don't know if the speed makes a difference or not, but for this particular set of M2s that came out to, what, about uh, 40 minutes for each? Yep, that'd be 80 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes, okay. So now let me plug them back into the computer and see if they report the same information. Okay, here's the copy after doing the clone on that cool pie. Now, for some reason, I can't mount both of them like I could before. Not sure if it's because of the size of them or because they are exact duplicates of each other. I can load either one of them independently. So for example, if I go ahead and take this one out, first uh, using the USB, okay. So I've turned it off. I'll put the other one in. Let me put the original back in. I'm using the source slot. And there it goes. So I can look at each one of them, but not at the same time. When I put the second one in, it does not pop up. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and test now to make sure that the other one has the operating system on it. And we'll see what that looks like. Okay, the cloned drive came up. I'm now in Windows on my test PC. Let me take a look at the drives that it sees. And there it is, it's drive C. So that's the one we booted off of. The same amount of uh, capacity that I had before, including Windows itself. This is Windows 11. Okay, so it worked. We were able to clone this drive. I think that covers it for today. And uh, I thank everybody for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.